Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Control. Maybe this is the last one, maybe there is another one, I'm not sure yet. So last time we found the set projector and we, we found Hedron and basically it is dead or she is dead or he is dead, I'm not really sure what it is. It's some kind of object and yeah, and Plus basically is now in us, it has been transferred. There is cover, trench and Fuck them over. So now we are trying to save the name from this because we saved ourselves like last time. So yeah, let's get it right into it. Uh, I'm just gonna say it right away. This is gonna be freakishly. I mean, like freakishly fucking hard. Oh yeah, and if I save the shadow, no fucking dirty, dude. This is a lot. You know what? Just forget about them. Let's just run. Wait, I do have to finish them. That sucks. I didn't freaking see them. Wow. There are way too many of them. Jukebox talking. I still generally have no fucking clue what it does. Uh, no, 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 don't. Okay. Like, was just a point. Would kill me. Hello. Bye bye. Alright, start this morning, please. I don't have all day long for you. Wait, that was it? Oh, what's this? Memory, so. Holy god! That hurts quite fucking a lot. What the fuck? When the fuck did you did you spawn? Okay, I guess there's none over here. Am I anywhere near Dylan? Ouch! Think I'm getting closer? Am I though? Okay, I am in a white. Wow. Wow. Okay, that sucks. That sucks a lot. So basically, I'm. This is way too fucking powerful over here. Over here? Over here. Oh no, come on! It take for fucking ever to reach there again.
Okay, at least I don't have to fill all of them again, which is the good part. Not bad. This, yeah, okay. Cool. Almost there, almost there. Ah, <sighs> this gonna Why am I not able to do whatever I want to? Alright, are we done of those little guys? Not quite. Okay, are we done? Please, tell me that we are. Think maybe we are? I'm gonna assume I can just go there. Wait, no, I came from here. Never mind, I came from here. Kinda fucking bad. Why are there so fucking many of them today? Okay, bad idea. Bad idea. Change weapons. Give me that. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. God damn it, what the fuck? Wow. Dude, give me a fucking break already! When the fuck is this gonna... How are we gonna get over with this? <sighs> okay, okay, I see a way. Finally. Dylan, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't dare on me now, please. Dylan, I'm over here. It's okay, it's okay. You got me now, buddy. I'm here to save you. Come on, save him. Yes, honey, you're home. You're gonna be home soon. Let's get off that hiss. Let's get off the corruption that lies inside of you. You're gonna be safe and sound. Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. But he's safe at least. For the time being. has been closed. But the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. Why I'm working like on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I got the question, why don't you just... The director of the Federal Bureau uh, of Control. Close it. We're in this together. You... And I. So, why don't you just cleanse the area from the hiss? Like, I'm not sure you can at the moment. You got the power. So, is it done then now, or... Or is it not? Because if it is not yet, and it's another trick on me, I'm gonna be pretty, pretty fucking mad, <laughs> to be honest. This is not that cool. Uh, basically saved everyone from the haze, except whatever the management room is still there. Did she... Did, I think she said the management room. It's in lockdown, so that's good. But I, uh, that's weird. Why can't like why can't she like just cleanse it? She's a portal is closed and we got Polaris with us too. Or whatever remains of her. That's really weird. Oh I know I have not done much of machines, but like fuck him. <laughs> oh Hello? You are the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Uh, the crisis is not over. Your work is not done yet. Really? Security board... Hold on. Security uh, board... Counter measures and Bureau Arts to fight Hong Kong as a threat. Search the dangerous steps of the oldest house... Oldest house for classified bureau. 
I will. Shawshank Redemption. What? That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. Good. So, I don't know what that is going on over here. Where is that? Where is everyone? Even if it was a dream. Yeah? Field Darling reached out to me through the hotline. He did. I have a feeling he and Trent will be the only callers from the beyond. That's nice. Uh, I got a question. Like, is there no one over here anymore? Where is everyone? Jesse Faden. Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I still don't quite believe it. But yeah, same. You always knew where we were headed. Wait, why are there still hiss over here? Weird. Anyways. Let's see what Dash has to say over I here. You close the his portal or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. Yeah. Well, if we could just flush out the stragglers. Uh, let's check out what's so, fucking everything. What's next for Simon and Leash? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire bureau. But fuck it, the entire fucking world without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. Yeah. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. Good. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but... Well, you pulled us back from the brink. I'm oh, glad. I'm surf, man. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Fate. <laughs> sure thing, honey. He'll it's okay. One day. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in his. Not to mention the months of repairs it's going to take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done humping his. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but well, some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. Well, thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but she said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? But uh, she was by herself, if that helps at all. Not really, but thanks. Hopefully she turns up. Hopefully. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Alright, uh... Do I have machines left to do? Oh god. Oh god. That's all the fucking machines to do. Uh, let me... Actually, hold up. Let me just change my uniform. I don't like it. Who's assistant? B7. You know what? I love B7. Got more abilities. Uh, I've been wanting to do this, so yeah, sure. All damage, fuck that. I need energy more than anything else. Four. Two, 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 three. Well, whatever. Let's see what Pope has to say, Emily Pope. Who lost my waveform of the history recording? Hello there. Sorry, Pam. I 
Jesse, good to see you. Sure. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got okay. medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Please do. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... Really? I, I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Yes! Good. <laughs> yes, I accept. <laughs> You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. You're very welcome. Just do what you have to do. Please. Oh, hold up. I've looked through the docs we found in Dimensional Research. Mm -hmm. That slide projector is extremely powerful. I do know that. You were right to shut it down. Glad we're on the same side. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. She looks happy. When the hiss got into my head, I so. saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Well, empirically, no. But phantom voices as well as hallucinatory states are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. And the fact that he hid those forces from me, it's infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm going to consider something like repugnance. Which it all was. Uh. Which it all was, of course. <laughs> How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow, for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. And we will do the waiting. That's fair. He waited a long time for me. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring him around the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I get it. It's okay. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. Try failure? So, there was a moment after Hedron died that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards, and we fought off the hiss that came after him. 
So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay, which I'm guessing must be... You. Me. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of this. And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. Wait, but that's just still know. with you? Thanks. I thought she died. I thought Polaris died. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power, which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. What? Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Maybe it is. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Sure thing, I guess. Uh, so, I guess that's what happened here. Uh, do I have something else? Hi, Jesse. Nope. Well, okay. I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. <laughs> there haven't been any case sightings. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Okay, so. Looks like it got shifted. We have rangers checking each sector. Check uh, ours. Never thought I'd be working in the executive sector. Look at me now, Ma. <laughs> That's uh, must to know. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Good. Okay, let's go and check for Dylan. And then whatever. Direct Actually, hold up. Do I have any machines? I don't. Fine job handling this. Anyways. I'm gonna check like the other machines. I'm gonna do like a few of them for the time being. Heard the director stopped the hiss, right? Sounds like she can really handle things. I'm glad you're here okay. waiting for you when you wake up, brother. Well, he's kind of doomed. You wake up. So that's Dylan and whatever has happened to him. So that's it for today guys, I hope that you did enjoy the episode, if you did consider liking it, consider subscribing, and let's see you guys next time with a new one. Uh, by the way, I might do another video for missions, maybe two, which are uh, the ones I have not done yet. I'm just gonna say it's so freaking hard, so I'm not really sure about that. But for now, take care everyone, and let's see you again next time. Ciao, ciao!